So, with the release of Easy AS TR UI Goku, uh, we are going to go ahead and do a tier list. I was actually considering not doing a tier list uh, for this guy specifically, but he's such a big Easy A character. And I know the anniversary units come out in like three days, but you know, it's going to take me some time to actually test them out, get a good feeling of them. So, probably like a like the first or second is the next tier list and we're gonna have a new wave of difficult content which could also potentially shake the tier list up as well uh we do know that there's going to be the new events the blue zone as we call it right uh this event right here um actually that's the wrong one but this this is also going to be another challenge event that's coming out but there's a blue zone here with super saiyan god ss goku and everything like that Maybe he's the hardest fight in the game and that shakes things up a little, right? Who knows? But uh, just in case today, we're going to go ahead and do the tier list, including this guy. Um, very, very powerful, easy A. They give him a good amount of increases on his passive. Till he gets an extra 100% attack and defense. An extra key for here. Extra 7% dodge until he gets his attacked per other universe reps. Uh, no, 7. How do I explain it? Represented as a universe 7 category character. I was thinking of the universe reps tag from legends, right? He gets an additional multiplicative 77% attack and defense after dodging essentially and then he gets an extra 11% crit chance up to 77% with each attack he baited. Everything else is kept from pre EZA, right? Still the great chance to dodge here. Still the build up 7 key and then 77% attack and defense uh, that makes him have to dodge 11 times, right? Which is on uh, actually seven times my bad which is not too bad actually if it was 11 times it would be a lot worse but um there you go with this guy so let's hop right in again um parts of the tier list won't include talking about him we're gonna go ahead into our number 10 spot which is infinite or fusion zamasu either or um infinite sanctuary right which is why i saw that now fusion zamasu at 10 which is kind of crazy right because this guy is still really really powerful uh, but again, I just feel like villains specifically aren't in the best place right now. Maybe if Broly is a really good villain character, maybe if he has big bad bosses, really helps Fusion Zamasu out, gives him a potential team. But, you know, that super bosses team does not look good at all, honestly. And unless Broly also leads like Transformation Boost or like another strong villain team to pair together with super bosses, like that's not going to be another team for Zamasu. And, you know, we could even take a look here at, like, Zamasu's, like, best partners, right? And you can see that Zamasu as a character is struggling for some of these partners and some of these setups, right? I mean, we'll take a look here. Um, Angel Zamasu is good. Goku Black Zamasu is a decent character. LR Rose is good. And then it's like, you suck. You're unfortunate. Uh, maybe the new event will help you. You know, we, we could see about that. But, like, all these characters suck. And then it's like with these characters this fierce battle legendary power than what like dismal future which is like two keen five percent chance it's like that's not, that's not I mean, you're not gonna call that good or anything right and it's like without these characters he's not getting links like you know if, if you link it with those characters he's not getting big bad bosses he's not getting godly power nightmare these like very strong links for zamasu right especially nightmare and big bad bosses right uh, those are pretty big attack links, right? Especially defensively for him as well. Um, that's that's my issue with Zamasu is that he just doesn't have the place. I mean, like these teams are either super class or they're villain teams, and they suck, right? His team is still definitely like probably the best villain team available right now because you could run any extreme class character, which is very valuable. But you know we're going to compare that to the unit i have nine sort of hope trunks right the thing with this sort of hope trunks is it's a character that can be thrown in virtually any setup right i would say zamasu design is better but based on trunks is like trunks in the game right now he has a much higher advantage as well because he's physical right uh so many bosses are in we have interfusion zamasu with an in phase Omega Shenron fight with an it phase. Sort of hope Trunks has an it phase. Goku Black and Zamasu has an in phase at the beginning. Into Rose fight has an in phase. Even this new event that's coming out that I just showed you guys, the Super Saiyan God SS Goku phase. The second phase is also apparently int. So there's just so many int bosses. 
that are very difficult that are really pushing physical characters to be very strong even with an str coverage phase it's like at the end of the day the final phase which is the hardest phase for the most part is still int right um this guy is on so many setups that he could be ran on just a ger generic saiyan link set does very good damage can tank a lot of damage very decently as well especially if he's able to get the full reduction right that matters quite a bit now there are turns where trunks will be not consistent and then zumasu will look better but zumasu's team around him drags him down while trunks does not have that issue and th that that matters right in terms of how good they are right now in the game and then standby mode trunks is cracked right not again one good thing about zumasu upcoming is that this will have a worth right before right now this is worthless but again this new event is super class enemies right so this will have an equivalent effect to future gohan which could be very massive if you're able to get the infinite zamasu out that is a game changer i think for this guy so hopefully again he'll shoot up the list uh number eight here we have the blue goku and blue vegeta i think that they're just the most consistent worldwide celebration character in terms of uh well those three specifically future gohan obviously um, he's gonna be higher on the list where's this guy at uh there he is right there i think compared to those other two he's just the most consistent overall i think that the leader skill he has definitely by far the best leader skill of them all um this guy's issue is definitely you don't fuse on turn five he loses his guard he get down right damage not really as there like these guys definitely do more damage but this character i feel like he fulfills his designed role very well the only caveat you want another future saga ally in the team but like future saga again is a very strong team so like you know literally like half of the top 10 list basically is future saga and then you have like the like arguably the best easy to you are right you know you have really good options here so future saga ally is definitely not an issue especially if you're running this guy as a leader, then you, you get that guaranteed. But just having the friend lead, right? So it's really good. A lot of Roman Gods enemies. So he's actually ended up being, uh, being super effective against all types as well, which helps out their damage to get this additional buff right here. Which, speaking of which, you know, <laughs> with Realm of Gods enemies, the Masu doesn't get this passive either, which only hurts him even more. And this new event, even though it's super class, is Realm of Gods, right? So that's one last thing I do want to point out about this guy again. Good link set, lots of teams. Uh, that's why I have him above those two. Just as like clarification. Oh, we're already seven minutes in. Wow, okay, that's crazy. Um, next, I have the physical androids. And then I'm actually going to put the next unit after real quick. Once I find these physical androids, there they are. Physical androids at seven right here. And then at my number six spots, I will just confirm is actually the man of the hour strui goku so again just quickly talking about the lr androids um i actually just straight up think they're better than the other world War units which is really crazy but i mean they're just stupid right i think the 50 percent support is just so nasty to the androids team they could triple super do some pretty good damage overall right high chance to dodge is very helpful um you know debuffing actually cast uses now they, they're giving bus bosses that can like be attack lord in some phases or something like that that can be really good and then android 16 is just busted like when if getting 16 now is so easy you just need two another two android allies on the team it's not bad you're gonna run this guy in the allies on the android team right um and it's like okay you know i was talking about vegeto is like you know this guy overall they are able to use more setups more easily same with trucks right um not like zamasu right but like these two so like why is this character on less setups better because i think they're just a stronger character like they're just like android 16 is just stronger than what trunks is able to do for the most part just stronger than what goku and vegeta when they're fused is able to do for the most part even well except on the active skill turn vegeta blue with the guaranteed dodge right but um like this guy is crazy. The 16 is just uh, something else. Able to eat any super attack in the game with just raw defense. Triple supering. Doing like like a 24 mil attack stat. 
into an additional super attack potentially uh, which is very common to get that does like a 16 mil attack stat then you can do another super attack um creating throughout the entire time you can get the 16 out like literally the first time you see this character uh, it's, it's just stupid uh, absolutely stupid like easy a character um a lot of it's on 16 but 16 is very easy to get out so yeah i, I do like this character quite a bit compared to the rest now Asterio we go because also very stupid broken uh obviously we're the sixth best lr in the game in my opinion right he's still going to be stupid broken we'll talk about why he's sixth and not fifth in a second um but again we talked about what this guy's buffs are but in general when you're using him he's just very easy to slide into like any team like any of these teams he's also able to slide in easily too but his effect with the 70 percent chance of dodge just as a slot one character him able to easily tank any normal attack in the game his damage output he's doing over 20 mil attack stats once he's fully built up right um great link set key consistency there's really no issue with this guy unless you just you know you get unlucky and he doesn't dodge the first few attacks for him to build up his stats but you know like i, I don't know i just think he's stronger than these characters in my opinion I think what he's doing is really, really nice. This little support buff could be interesting. The same one in regard could be cool, I guess, right? Uh, he's good for most of the fight. I mean, pretty much all of the fight, except for maybe sometimes an Omega because of seven turns, right? The only thing about this character um, is that like 200% leader skills can be kind of weird for him. I do have this page up for a reason. Right here. It's like, you know, the TOP androids, the issue with them is they get the reduction only after a super attack right so what you're gonna have to do is like you have to run like an yamcha's team or the top andrews team if you want the full 200 percent to be under like a good team otherwise like you know kai goku's team doesn't really work ultimate gohan's team i don't really like running the ultimate gohan as a leader carnival goku's team so short and then these two just suck right so yeah that's the, that's the only thing about that like 200 percent setups could be a little weird but i mean if you don't care about that i mean some like throw them on god go through pure saiyan's team throw them on orange piccolo superheroes you know even use the androids in like any event that isn't like fusions of masu or omega that don't have aoe's like they'll be fine though the androids will be perfectly good there so this guy also again that crit chance matters like a 77 percent chance to crit is crazy getting that off is like a massive increase to his damage he's gonna be wanting to be in slot one like so he's gonna get all this buff right here the 77 percent extra attack again I, I i was able to get this guy to like a 28 million attacks at one time with blue cow can goku support and he got he could do an additional super there if you build a full additional right obviously i mean duh right but like even without that with the greatly raised defense fully built up even not even necessarily fully built up he's able to hit over like 600k to 700k defense with a 70 percent dodge chance so while super a super attack would one shot him he has the 70 percent dodge so you can't um unmark that uh, how powerful it is i would say though these guys i feel like are better than what the ultra instinct sign goku is doing and i think it's really because of that turn three active skill if their active skill wasn't turn three, I probably would have even put Esther UI above them. But that turn three active is just, it's too good, really. Plus, obviously, they're a carnival R, so they have a 200% team for, like, arguably, like, a top three team in the game. That matters as well. Um, this character has inconsistency sometimes with the in key spheres because they want in key spheres and they don't like always get you good in key spheres right um because again they get where is it they get an additional uh attack that's high chance to become super for every three key spheres obtained so it, well that doesn't necessarily have to be it right key wise you won't really want in key spheres or so you can really miss out on that and obviously like you know you're gonna prefer to get in key spheres anyways with this character with them still making the in key spheres changing at least changing some of the field to int so yeah i don't know I guess really key right there but it's like very uncommon for that to happen in my experience with this character especially if you have a rainbow orb changer so uh this character rocks this is a crazy stupid character both of them are really stupid crazy and then from there 
the list pretty much just goes the same as always right we have a gt duo at four uh let me actually replay this song right here but yeah uh, we have gt duo here let me bring you up here gg duo is actually at four i mean self-explanatory the gg goku and vegeta really 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 well aged character just absolutely fantastic right at three we do have future gohan i mean another really really good character that's going to age well for like five years then bulma then orange piccolo so that's that i mean i feel like at this point i do so many of these tier lists i don't necessarily have to explain i mean for the top like four you could probably just move them all around for like super saiyan goku and vegeta and trunks you could probably like i could i could see people argue him at four if they really want to but like i like this um and i think like especially the top three you could really argue then you can move these two around probably more likely could you argue gt duel is the best unit in the game i mean at the end of the day sure whatever i don't care that much but I think SWY here is at six in my personal tier list. I think this looks good to me. Um, and again, we're going to get Broly and Gogeta next week. So if they're one and two, I mean, these two might just be pushed off. It could, it could, it's two of these three characters, or maybe the androids will like just kind of suck. Who knows, right? Um, I doubt it. They're all going to be so good. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.